Now at times uh, we may want like uh, if you take a look at this uh, step definition, <clears throat> then uh, whatever scenarios, uh, whatever uh, features that we have written over here, uh, let's say I was talking about uh, navigating to facebook.com. Now before we navigate to facebook.com, uh, we should actually launch a browser, right? So after launching a browser, it should navigate to facebook.com, it should perform all these actions and at the end, a browser should be quit right now I won't be uh, writing any step uh, like any any steps over here for the same see I have directly started with given user navigates to uh, Facebook website I've never mentioned that given user launches a browser right and even here uh, after successfully logged in I have not mentioned that it should uh, the browser should get closed right so these things instead of mentioning it as a step I can uh, provide that with uh, some annotations as in I'll say public void and create a method method that says setup. Now in this method I'm going to write some code that will let's say launch uh, the browser right. Similarly I'll create another method that says public uh, void let's say uh, teardown right. So tear down whatever that I want to quit in the project. I'll be mentioning those things. Let's say uh, quitting the uh, browser or uh, if you're working on Selenium or Appium, we say something like driver dot quit, right? So I'll be mentioning these things over here. So I want that these things should be executed before all my feature files, right? Now in order to make them executable before, uh, in order to call the launch of browser before, every feature that we have given over here before every scenario basically that we have given over here right in all the feature files let's say we have uh, two scenarios over here we have uh, two scenarios over here so before uh, executing each scenario it should launch a browser and after executing each scenario it should quit the browser right so what we can do we can add these things and uh, something that is called as cucumber hooks. So what we're gonna do, uh, we'll go to this login step and we'll write at the rate before and at the rate after, right? <clears throat> and what we're gonna do, I'll just be, see, you'll, you'll find two things, two imports over here. Don't import it through JUnit. This will be imported through Cucumber. Although it's a wrapper over JUnit, so it will gonna work like the same way how before and after works in JUnit. So I'm just gonna save this. And if I now go ahead and run my uh, Qt file, so you're gonna see that uh, before every scenario, see, uh, launch the browser and driver.quit launch the browser driver.quit before every scenario there were four scenarios that got executed so before every scenario at the rate before got executed and after scenario uh, driver.quit uh, got executed after every scenario so this is what your uh, cucumber hooks are uh, that will actually going to execute if if you give it once inside uh, any class, uh, the Cucumber, any any step definition file, basically, Cucumber will automatically execute it uh, before each scenario that is present inside the feature file. So if if even you look at uh, the scenario over here, uh, there were some scenarios uh, related uh, to uh, production that we have created. So uh, if you take a look over here related to production was the scenario that in order to verify a login to production and if you go over here uh, just one second so these things are okay these can be seen in uh, your j unit reports if you take a look over here because features are uh, basically uh, seen over here just give me a moment uh, let me run it again. So over here, both login and login to production are executed, right? And before each scenario, uh, there, there were four scenarios that got executed. 
So uh, before each scenario, before each feature, uh, two scenarios were over here that were parameterized and two scenarios that we have directly executed it with uh, these steps. And before each scenario, your at the rate uh, before was executed and after each scenario at the rate after was executed. All right. Now uh, we can make these hooks, uh, we can give them some more power as in uh, we can add some tags to the group, uh, to, to these hooks as well. Tags as in let's say I want some uh, hooks to be uh, executed uh, before the production scenarios only, right before uh, the production feature and not uh, uh, before just the login feature so I can I can add a number of uh, before and after over here let's say I create one more before after and I'll just set the production and uh, tear down production maybe there are something that we need to set it up for production only and not not for the uh, test server or the beta server right so I can uh, add a tag over here I'll say at the rate uh, prod so this is how we can add a uh, uh, tagged hook as well right and I'll just say launch the browser uh, for production right similarly I'll just add for production over here right now what happened uh, if I run this uh, now if I run this now it will not going to execute this production scenario uh, 